Jacobi. Yes. Stefan Jacobi, President and CEO of Volkswagen Group of America. Mm. Tell me the goal of Volkswagen for the next five years, not for right now. Right. Uh, the goals for Volkswagen in the next five years is to establish the Volkswagen brand with a higher volume than we have sold in the last years. We believe in the U.S. economy, we believe in the American market, and we are doing a significant investment with the brand Volkswagen into the United States. We are investing in new vehicles, uh, we are investing in new environmentally friendly technology, and we are investing $1 billion dollars into a brand new factory in Tennessee, in Chattanooga, in, to, in the United States. And that will be in 2011? That will be in 2011. So if you ask me what will be our objectives in five years, it is having a full utilization of that factory, selling, I would say, between 400 and 500,000 vehicles, so almost have doubled from the volume today. And uh, being the land is big enough, actually, to copy um, the investment actually which we are doing right now and building another plant as well and, and increase the capacities. But right now we are planning for 150,000 vehicles. Walter De Silva just showed us the classic saloon that he has designed to be built at this plant. This plant is made for the United States. Um, when we are talking about manufacturing in the United States, we mean also that we will have a so-called deep localization. That means that we want to um, get as much local content in getting American suppliers to supply for, for, for a week. And that will give us financially um, the freedom and uh, the independence from the US dollar euro exchange rate. With that, we can be more competitive. Talk about um, your vehicles, and right now you're sort of almost in the middle of the um, the price range. You're not no longer the entry price range. Mm -hmm. How are you going to change that? Well, it's not our strategy is not to offer a cheap vehicle. There will be always a value behind that. Uh, with our products imported from Europe and with the today's exchange rate, it is very difficult to price our vehicles in the so-called sweet spot of the segments. Uh, with the cars more uh, produced and localized in the US dollar NAFTA area, we will get and gain more competitiveness. We will of course fulfill uh, this compliance uh, necessity and we will bring the technology which is necessary for this. Um, it will be a good mixture between um, traditional gasoline engines which can be significantly optimized for not so much money also in respect for the consumer. We will offer our clean diesel technology and of course we will go also towards um, plug-in hybrids and electric vehicles. So it will be a mixture. Um, we should not dream, I want to make that also clear from our point of view, that the industry will shift within the next 10 years significantly into electric vehicles. Electric vehicles might be most probably the solution of environmentally friendly uh, greenhouse gas uh, free uh, mobility but it will take much longer time um, to really establish electric vehicles so that they can be competitive, reliability, and most important, also safe for the consumers. That will take much longer time than many of uh, other people are actually thinking and saying. We but you are well known for your diesel and you do a good job with your diesel. Diesel is an uh, interim solution towards electric vehicles. Um, it offers uh, not only environmentally friendly cars, but also fun to drive. Uh, it's exactly the talk American consumers expect. And uh, it has a high residual value, which is very important for the consumers as well. And, of course, it contributes also to the environment. Today I drove a hybrid, and it, was a, uh, it had a prototype diesel mm -hmm. engine in it. 
Does this mean you're going to bring the diesel hybrid over it's first? A, it's a very expensive technical solution, unfortunately. It's an ideal solution. It shows what technically can be possible, uh, but it all depends actually from the oil price. As long as the oil price is, unfortunately or fortunately, as low as it is right now, it doesn't justify uh, that we go in that direction right now. Maybe later it could be a solution. So you have two different cars that you haven't brought over because of the oil price hasn't changed. You've got your twin uh, charger, which is a beautiful mm -hmm. car, and then you've got a diesel hybrid that you can bring over. Uh, when do you bring them over just because it fits Volkswagen's DNA and mm -hmm. not because of the oil price? The twin charger could be one solution for the near future. The diesel hybrids are a little bit more far away. It can. Uh, it depends on the oil price development and it depends on the necessity for contribution for greenhouse gas and of course also acceptance by the consumers. It makes no sense actually that you offer something where there is no demand and uh, that actually edge we have to, we have to find. Stefan, thank you very much. Thank you.